dad's gonna kill us. He's not gonna be happy when he hears this. So we got a call for a razor that fell through the snow with tracks up by Yankee Meadows. We got the crew with us today. We got Caitlin. I'm here. And then we got Rhett back there. All right, so the weather, it's about 50 degrees, partly cloudy. It's a beautiful day though. It is a beautiful day. We're following the customer right now up to where it'll get snowy. We'll unload the Bombi and head in there and just pull it out. It's just stuck, so we'll have Rhett drive it out, and then Caitlin will be swinging our camera today. Guess what? What? I've never driven side-by-side uh, -side with tracks or anything. That'll be cool. I wonder what it's going to be like. That's what we're doing today. B-team out. seeing snow right now because we came from like 70 degrees yeah it's been hot these last few weeks like i'm surprised we're breaking the snow cat out again i am too i thought it was done for the season honestly yeah same so it's just up this way still it's all the way to the yeah it, it's i got it on on it uh, uh you can't miss it you just gotta follow my tracks yeah, yeah. all righty so he said there was ice on the road from this point on yesterday or day before that we're just gonna go into four low and we'll just cruise on up see how far we can make it i'd like to make it to the big open field there's a turnaround spot there and we'll unload there and we can head up I'm nervous i'm very nervous don't worry you got a very experienced crew right here yes yeah very. and we have help at home and we can walk out and there's a bunch of options just i would rather not call my dad and go hey we're stuck. <laughs> wow, we're gaining some elevation. This is where we're doing it. This is where I say we're, we're done. You're not cold? Not yet. You will be when you get up there. <laughs> We had a jack here. I've seen Robbie's video. They just jacked it up and put the track back on uh, whiskers. That's all we need. If you were to get service with OG, I'd climb a tree. <laughs> so the track came off of the Bombi. It like we were going and it just fell off of the side of the road. And I was like, oh, we must have just hit a soft spot. Backed up and the track came off. So let's go make a call. Shall we? I would rather not call my dad and go, hey, we're stuck. I leave for one second and he's climbing a tree. These are the best trees to climb, actually. How are you doing up there? Oh, this is going great. Where did Rhett go? He's walking over there up that hill. Okay. I have, I have one bar right here. Let me see if I can call someone. Hey, so we're driving. We're about half a mile from the customer. We're calling backs up and we look out the window and the track is completely off. 
You threw a track? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's like bunched up. Like the track is still on the front side. It's the passenger one. It's still on the front side of the Bombi, but the back completely threw it off and it's laying bunched up against the side of it. I don't, I'll try to send you a picture, but I don't know if we have enough service for that. It doesn't matter. You guys, you guys can fix it. I don't know if you have the brains to fix it, but you do have all the tools and everything to fix it. Okay, so what do we need? You need to put it back on. So what you need to do is you need to take the track apart at the bolts. Is everybody, can everybody Here. hear us talking right no, now? No, Colin's coming, climbing out of a tree right now. <laughs> all right, I'm here, Dad. What's up? Okay, you need to take the track to part of the bolt. Okay, and put them back on. And then you need to put them back on. So what you have to do is the track tensioner, you have to put that at the shortest possible way. Got it. Shortest possible. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then we got to pull the track around. Okay. Do you think you can put the track back on the way I just said? Man, I am going to try. You're going to have to use your brains and think about how differentials work and and put that thing back together. Yeah. Just keep your head clear. Don't get frustrated and see if you can put that back together. All righty. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Let's go do this. Okay, look for the. Uh, no. Did anybody bring gloves? I did. Caitlin, I might be borrowing. Yeah, those. you can have them. See, this is why you guys needed me, because I actually come prepared. Yes. This was supposed to be an easy job. Oh, it's right here. Okay, we got it. Okay, we cannot lose this nut. So, Rhett, come catch it. This is going in my pocket. Everybody watching? <laughs> it's going great. Well, that's a complicated pocket. <laughs> right here. Okay. It's in my pocket. What stuff do we have? The neon? Uh, that. We have a jerky bag, half a <laughs> and bag of jerky. That's our survival food right there. We gotta ration it out a little. <laughs> We're already almost gone. Oh man. What in the world? Once I get this done, then we're good. We're home free. Once we get this off, we're going to use our muscles to put this thing back together. So I brought you, Rhett. You brought the wrong person. <laughs> when your Bombi loses its track, you need a Matt's toolkit. You can get your toolkit at mattsoffroadrecovery.com. Um, should I probably let the customer know? That it's gonna be a while. Yeah, just say hey, it's gonna be a while. Do you have service right here? I do actually. And you didn't check. <laughs> What's keeping me from just driving back farther off? Hello. I'm just letting you know the clamp is headed there with C clamps. Oh, oh. awesome. And a jack? Minutes. And a jack? And a jack? Do you need a jack? A jack be. might be nice. Okay, I'll have them grab a big floor jack. Before you guys are done, you need to tension both tracks. That's yeah, yeah we're planning on that. Go. Let's go. We're gonna be here a long time. Let's okay. keep moving. So I guess that's a relief. Matt just called and Clint is coming to help us and he'll bring the tools that we need. It's off. Okay, it's off? Yep, I got the nut. Okay, grab that hammer and hit that out of there. Okay. That. Keep going. That's as far as I can hit it. Okay. I'm just gonna pull forward, back it up. Mm, back and we're gonna pull it up in. Okay, just watch it. Make sure I don't break anything. Okay. All right, just leave it right there. That we don't want to go anymore, or else we will damage the brakes and everything severely. Will it come out at least? I don't know. So you can get that bolt out. Ow. Okay. You like Got it. Got it. Yep. have to flop this back and then drag it forward. So that end has to come forward. Once we get this set up, we gotta loosen up that back track, which is not gonna be fun. Wow, those really grip in this now, don't they? 
Okay. We're gonna have to lay this up on top of it, though. So we're gonna have to grab that in and pull it. Grab right there and pull. Ah. Got it right. So when this bombie's gonna come, it's gonna want to curve. So we gotta get it. We have to get it like close on that wheel there. Oh, we gotta get it really close up in there. We gotta kind of put it at an angle. So let's just slide it this way. We got the track laid out, and we gotta move it in line with the tire. Sorry, I'm out of breath. But uh, we're gonna pull it up underneath this as close as we can to the tire, so the tire tire will start tracking. We're gonna move this at a slight angle downhill, and then hopefully we can just urge the bombi up onto it. Maybe we'll use the winch. I'm sure we can use okay. the winch to help us move this track where we need to. Okay. That's cool. Can you need, like just stand on it? So. I'll stand on it. There you go. Okay, right there. That's maybe yeah, right there. Because this bombi's for sure coming at a pretty sharp angle. The thing is kind of like a train though, it kind of stays on the tracks. It does not stay on its tracks. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa. Okay, stop. You need to just come straight well, from right there. Easy. Yeah, keep, yeah. Okay, oh yeah, oh yeah. Keep her going. Okay, stop. Oh. Really We've got to bring that back way farther. Here, wait. Hook the winch to that tree. Pull the bombie over. We could do that. You know, it's Friday, and I want to go do something with my evening. But guess what? I'm playing in the snow instead. This is not playing. This is agony. This is the feeling of defeat. But we're conquering as we speak. You ready? so it brings the rear end over. So just keep an eye on that. And tell me what to do. Keep going. That's working. Easy. What's up? Yeah. What's up? You're almost off the track. You're getting too frisky with it. That ain't flat, no. That rear tire's dead. That's probably not gonna track correctly. Well, while we're waiting for Clint for more parts, I'm gonna loosen up this track and tighten that one so we don't do this again. Oh, that one's loose right there. That's not good. I bet you a hundred bucks. The other side's the exact same way and it loosened up. That's not good. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. I cannot get this thing to loosen. Dying under here, freezing and of heat. Don't ask how. 
How's that going? Ooh, this red racing stripe is no longer red. It's scratched. <laughs> we just gotta get it out of here. That's all we gotta do. Wellness check. How's everyone doing? I'm great. I'm playing Tetris. Tetris, huh? Yeah. Colin? I'm freezing to death and I'm hungry. It's what, 5.30? 5.36 in the p.m. So Colin just hiked the service again, called my dad. He said Clint hasn't showed up yet, so we're hiking out. This is not what I wanted to be doing, but we're hiking out. We can't do this. We need more people, more tools, and not as much snow. Let's okay. go. We have to go to that red mountain. We'll be fine. Everything's fine. I'm just glad it's not dark yet. It's getting there. The wind started to kick up. We haven't seen Clint. It's been over an hour. Yeah. It's been way over an hour. It's been like an hour and almost two. We just ran into somebody. It looks like Clint. What do we got going down? I keep breaking through, dude. Yeah, no, it's not, it's not gonna get any better. No, it's not. I tried to rescue you, but you know, this is as far as I could get. Yeah, I recommend we get you out and- I can back out. We can back okay. out. I, well, let's just go then. We don't, it's still way up there. We don't have the manpower, the tools. Too We're much stuck. weight. I got my it's all the extra weight in the back seat. Okay. Ready, set, go. Okay, go. You push sideways. <laughs> it wants it. Keep going right there. Go. Keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. Just keep going, keep, keep going. going. Go. Keep going. Other way. Oh. Keep going, keep going. Let's go home. Yeah, we still have like three trucks to get off the hill. Yeah, get in the getting thing. closer. Tell me when I'm about to hit something. Uh, you got like 100 feet. You're doing great. You have a mile. I you're start... about to hit something probably. Okay, gun it. This guy right here is a lifesaver in two ways. One, he helped me with my big accident, and two, he saved us today. <laughs> what a guy. Anytime, that's what friends do. Lots have happened <laughs> since we saw you last. Not a lot's happened, actually. We're off the mountain, though, on <laughs> asphalt. Everybody's happy. We're gonna go get some dinner. We're gonna come back probably with the wrecker. We're gonna be doing some stuff, meshing some stuff, putting some sauce into it, as Jake would say the sauce. We'll be back later on this job. I love it when a plan almost comes together. All right, we made it back to Hurricane. We got some reinforcements now. We got my dad. We're and gonna we... head up there to <laughs> see if we can get them both out. Yeah. Both of them. And then we got one of our good buddies, Mark Hicken. He's gonna lend us some snowmobiles so we can go right up there and see if we can fix this thing. All of our rigs are at the Easter car show right now and they're all locked in. So this is the best we got right now. So Rhett's coming, Caitlin had to go home. So this is the crew right now. You think we'll get it? Oh yeah. Okay, we'll yeah, get it. They say we'll get her out. So I got a call. I want to give you a rundown on everything that happened. I'm starting to wonder if that back axle was damaged at the off-road games. You know, I did do a tug of war against a cyber truck, so that's a possibility. Man, that that lets me know we need to beef up that back axle. So the problem is we put an awful lot of motor in that Bombi and now it's putting stresses that it's never had to deal with. So we're gonna have to figure that out. But I'm not too worried about it. I've just got to quit treating it like I've been treating it. But hey, we're testing it, finding out what it can and can't do. Yeah, it's a work in progress. So I've got a plan to fix what needs fixing, get it put back together and finish the job tonight. I think we can do all that. We'll see how it goes. Back to the mountain. We're here where the snow starts. We got the sleds unloaded. Let me show you what we got here. A bag full of tools. I've got a sacrificial spare tire. We're gonna try to straighten that axle out with this big long pole. It's been a long time since I've been on one of these. Oh, and it's got heated grips. Let's go. This is less than ideal conditions for snow machines because the tracks are getting hot. There's not enough snow to keep everything cool. I think they're not getting any snow up on the heat exchanger either. Mm -hmm. 
High performance machines, they need to stay cool. All right, we made it to the bomb, be safe and sound. Sorry we didn't get a lot of the filming on the rigs. We were fighting for our lives, but uh, here we go. What'd you say? I said that is really bent. Let's look at this one and see if it's bent too. It's definitely bent. This one's bent that way. The Same front way. of it is. Same way. I bent those doing a tug of war with a cyber truck. Oh man, heavy D. I owe you one now. I may have won the battle, but it looks like Dave Sparks won the war. We're gonna get this off of there. Here. Get under there and see if you can pick it up. Oh, easy. So close. Can okay. somebody else get on that with him? Yeah, I can get on it. Three, two, one. Okay. It's gonna be harder to put it on because I'm gonna have to light it up. Okay, grab that tire. You got the other one? So we've got a, it might be easier to come back this way because this we're is gonna, how we're gonna be doing it. Okay, you're on the tire right now. Okay. Without breaking my kneecap. Wow, we're bending that pipe. Okay. Is it bending it? <laughs> yeah, it's moving it, but it keeps. It, yeah, you're not like bending it permanently. It's just coming back out right, and going we'll back over in. to it. That thing comes off and hits our teeth. Oh, hold on, stop. That's better, but it's. Still quite a bit bent. Do it one more time. Oh, that's a lot better. I like it. Help <laughs> get us home. How bad is it? Okay, let's pull this wheel off. We're waiting for you, you know. Let me get this all lined up. There is, oh, it's. Okay, right there. Okay, ready? Right. Uh -huh. Set, go. How are you looking? Okay, set it down gentle. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start it up. I'm gonna put it in reverse. And, roll that. Yeah. and I'm gonna roll this back. Yep. Okay, let, let it go. We've done this before. There we go. Oh, oh, okay. Is it tight? Yeah, that's tight. Yeah. Can you okay, back? I'm gonna back up a little bit. Not gonna square it a little bit on the thing. We're driving off the track right now with the back tire. Can we push it? Can we try pushing it? No. Okay, go back! Okay, awesome. There we go! Okay, come back! Okay, look! No, oh, maybe another inch or two. Let's, that, see, let's see how you like that. Okay. First off, he's got a Loosen up this tire so it goes in. Oh. And then. Oh man, you didn't do this at all. I did, I just didn't know what I was doing with it. Yeah. Might want to check that out a sec, because I don't know if Rhett loosened it or tightened it. That's what I'm afraid of. Okay, let's get one of them F clamps out of there. We're gonna have to hammer these sideways. This is a lot easier in the shop. Yeah, we're, we're trying to pull this track straight and it's frozen in the snow. Okay, you might be able to get that now. So close. There it is. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay, now that side won't move. It's just this side we gotta get in. Got one in. Nice. Okay, there's one. Where's that hammer? Right there. Tap, tap, tap. We got there be the wrenches for this, kids. Okay, I'm going back under and trying to tighten this thing up. Ah, I set them up for failure, I did. There was no way we were gonna get that. That's good enough. I'm gonna Hold drive this up on flat ground and then I'm gonna look at the tracks. Definitely loose. This side's super loose. All right, that was a success. We're just gonna tension this track a little bit more. We're gonna go complete the job. We are gonna win. We're gonna win before tomorrow. I can 
here and drop it in the sock. You can see this axle's bent too. So this is a pretty easy fix. We'll get another back axle. We'll beef it up with all the right parts. We'll add more gussets. We'll make it stronger. And then I can do jobs without tracks falling off. So I had Mark drop me off. I'm waiting for the Bombi to come. Look at that. It's right there. So this is one of the problems. If he'd have just said he was at the bathrooms at the lake, that would have just helped. Like, I know he is where he is. We got to drive there no matter what. But man, that would have been good information. This is the lake that Brett caught a fish almost as big as him. Oh, is that this lake? Yeah. Right there. I want to go look at him before yeah. we get too close. Wow, put it in too low. Don't burn that belt. Just, Just give, give it a little blip. Oh, there we go. You, you're broke That's free. Okay. Everything's broke free. You just want to winch this from there? Yeah, I just, I you can winch it from here. Yeah, he said that bumper is not held on good. Uh, yeah, we'll go to one of them A-arms. Okay, you ready? This up. We're almost back to the trucks. So far, so good. All right, we made it back here. Now we've just got to load everything up. Sheesh. Woo! We done it. Okay, well. I need some more strength on this back axle. That's pretty obvious, but it's something that's totally doable. It's not like we have to throw the whole thing away yet. Well, you might as well give Hicken a handshake if there's nobody here too. <laughs> Thanks, man. A lot of people think that my success is due to my hard work and my ingenuity, but it's my friends, <laughs> Yeah. my circle of friends. So we came up here to do a job. We ended up calling my dad and he came up and helped us finish this job. We got it done. We got him out. We're gonna go home. It's not tomorrow yet, so, or is it? It's 104. It's, it's tomorrow, sorry, we did it. We didn't make it today. But we got them out, thanks for watching. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> you know the rule, if you don't know how to tie a knot, tie a lot. Tie a lot.